Good evening cast iron fans. Uh, tonight we're going to be making macaroni and cheese in the Dutch oven. And we'll get a little closer here we'll go over the ingredients. I've got a pound of cubed ham, about a quarter cup of onion chopped pretty fine, a pack of Velveeta, 32 ounce pack, one tube of saltine crackers, a cup and a half of milk, salt and pepper, a one pound package of elbow macaroni, flour, and butter. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first step is uh, we're going to make a little roux here. I've got about three tablespoons of butter. When that melts down, I'll add a little flour to it and we'll make a little roux. In the meantime, uh, I've started my macaroni noodles. We're getting pretty close here. Another minute and we'll pull them off. You want to be sure that you don't have your pan too hot because you don't want to burn the butter. This is just to thicken it. We don't want to really color it or uh, add any flavor with the roux. It's just simply to thicken the cheese sauce. Okay, our butter's melted. We'll add a little bit of flour. We're about two or three tablespoons there. I'm going to keep stirring this. Get all the flour broken down so you don't have lumps. Maybe just a touch more. Not looking for a, like a heavy paste kind of roux. Let that go for a second and it'll thicken up. Okay, our roux is about the right consistency. And I'm going to add the cup and a half of milk. It's been sitting out for a little while, so it's warm. You don't want to add right out of the fridge cold milk to this. Works out a little better. Kind of warm. And again, continue stirring. That'll thicken up. Uh, you want it like a, I say, consistency of a thin gravy when this part's ready. Okay, we're about the consistency we want. Uh, Kind of a thin gravy consistency. Okay, at this point I'm going to uh, cut my Velveeta into a little bit smaller pieces and melt down a little quicker that way. Okay, I got my cheese cut into uh, a little bit smaller chunks there. And we got that on a little bit lower heat setting. We'll just let that melt down. Give it a stir every now and then. Just take a couple minutes here. It doesn't take long at all. And while that's going, I'm going to take my ham and onion and uh, throw it in the skillet over here. Just go this kind of give it a little texture on the outside of the ham. It's already cooked, but anyway, here we go. Let that simmer for a couple minutes there. Soften up the onion a little bit. Okay, our cheese sauce is ready. 
put in a little salt, a little pepper. You don't need to do too much. If you want more afterwards, it's easy to add it then. You don't want to overdo it now. I'm going to give that a stir. You can also use white pepper, then you won't get the little black pepper specks in your cheese sauce. I don't really care. Besides that, I don't have any white pepper right now. Yeah, that's looking real good. Okay, so, while the cheese sauce is finishing up, I put my tube of saltine crackers in a bag and crush them up. So I've got that sitting aside, ready to go. My uh, ham and onions has been going for a few minutes here. We're going to go ahead and pull that off and uh, dump it right into our cheese sauce. Okay, so those are our ham and onions. We'll give that a stir. Get that all mixed real good. Boy, I can almost eat that like soup now. Okay, now we'll add our noodles. Okay, our noodles. We'll give that a stir. We're going to stir it real hard. Just kind of fold it all together. Make sure everything gets a good coat on it. Start bringing those ham pieces to the top. I know you're getting everything covered. top with uh, cracker crumbs here. Gives it a little texture, a little more visually appealing I guess. Plus it helps hold moisture down so the uh, top part of your macaroni doesn't get just burnt up in the oven. Okay we've got about a quarter inch of cracker crumbs on top there. I've uh, preheated my oven to 350. We're going to pop this in there for about a half hour to 40 minutes. We'll check it in a half hour, see how it looks. Uh, one more quick thing. When you uh, put the cracker crumbs on top of the mac and cheese, put a few little thin slices of butter around on top of the cracker crumbs when you put it in the oven. Okay, everybody. Uh, our mac and cheese is in the oven for about 40 minutes. And this is the finished product. Looks pretty darn good. Uh, we'll get some plated up and show you what it looks like. Okay everybody, there we are all plated up. Can't wait to make it disappear. Thanks for watching. See you next time.